again. Yes, it's my third video in the same outfit. This is gonna be my packing video. I will tell you what you should wait to buy down there if you're flying and what you should bring with you if you're driving. If you are flying, I suggest you use space bags but make sure that your luggage doesn't go over the weight limit if you don't want to spend extra money. Um, I would say wait to buy your bedding, wait to buy your toiletries, wait to buy any food, wait to buy any uh, laundry stuff, toilet, you know, all that stuff. Just wait until you get down there. Bring some clothes maybe bring two pairs of jeans bring three to four business outfits unless you don't mind re-wearing them maybe bring if you're really trying to cut back on what to bring maybe 10 outfits if you have room for that much and i would just wait to buy as much as you can till you get down to if you're driving i suggest packing as much stuff as you can into your car i'm bringing again my bedding rugs, all my toiletry stuff, all a, a lot of clothes. Also, um, my own garbage can, a whole bunch of shoes. Just because I couldn't narrow it down, I will show you everything I'm bringing and I will show you how I'm packing it into my car to save the most amount of space. Once you get down there, if you didn't bring it in your car or you just want to wait on some stuff to get down there, maybe wait on your bedding. You can, I suggest buying a Brita filter when you get down there. I also suggest buying a bed bug cover, not only for your mattress, but for your pillows too, because there has been instances where there have been some bed bug outbreaks. They didn't happen to me last time, but I also had the mattress and pillow protectors, so maybe that's why, who knows. I don't know if it's still a problem, but it's, you don't want bed bugs. <laughs> you could also wait to get like your shower curtain there, anything that's big and bulky. Just wait to get there if you have a small car. I drive a Chevy Tahoe. There's plenty of room to just bring random stuff that I probably do not need. I will take you to my current stash of things that I will be packing into my car. Today I recently found out that I have to pay $1,000 to fix my car before we can leave in a couple days. The transmission's out, the power steering's out, the brakes need to be fixed, and I need to get the oil changed, so you know. Great, yay, yay me. Anyway, so I can't pack anything into my car until the day or the night before, hopefully not the morning of, because we're leaving at 4 a.m., but I will show you everything that I have packed. I will kind of give you tips on what you should bring compared to what I'm just bringing that is unnecessary and I could wait to get down there. <laughs> Hi, yeah, this is gonna be super close. I hope it's not blurry, but that's not why you're watching this video. So right here is my pile. And it just looks like a big pile of trash. Wrong light. Wow, I've lived here for all my life and I can't figure it out yet. Okay. So right here, I have some undergarments. Right here, I have my lovely Zac Efron. Right here, I have a poster. And here I have my kitchen stuff. You will need to bring or get a toaster if you're planning on toasting anything. The apartments do not supply that. I have a lunch box because I want to bring lunches this time. I have a water bottle because why not? It's handy. And then I have some Tupperware. I also have pots and pans in there because some of the housing pots and pans are just kind of nasty. So you might want to buy new ones. My camera, my laptop, my iPad, my iPod, everything electronic will be going in this suitcase. This folder I'm going to be using for all of this stuff that's too blurry for you to see, but it's my itinerary, my onboarding pass, my IDs, a void check. I don't think that's necessary anymore, but hey, I'm bringing it and I'm also driving, so I need to get my car insurance info in there as well. Right, here's my space bags. I will be putting my pillows, a blanket, and a big comfy robe in. So that's gonna be added to this pile. Right here, I have our tank tops and stuff for my roll, so more like white and tan undergarments all in here. Right here is just some extra bags, probably won't use them, so yeah, you don't need to do that. This is a beach bag because I like escaping to the beach. <laughs> Here's my shoe bag. 
right here is just the decorative clock very unnecessary <laughs> um, right here is the thing for my shower because last time in the commons you don't have any shelving in the shower so you will need to buy something or just carry it with you into the shower every time but this was very handy this can be used for both me and my roommate Rachel so in this clothes basket it is on wheels and it has a handle since I'm not in the commons I do not have laundry in my apartment so I will have to take it to a laundromat it's so sad this time down here I have a box with band-aids so my toiletries um Tylenol Advil all that Right here is a shelf that I will have to build when I get there. Wish me luck! I have a toilet scrub cleaner, I have a floor little cleaner, and that's about it in there. Some extra bags. Right there is my sheets, my comforter. Yeah, I shoved a lot in here. A throw, an outfit, so I don't think I'll space bag that one. And here's my jewelry. A little excessive, but I like sparkly things. And this one is like my junk drawer. So I have all my command scripts, screw screwdrivers, tape, lock for my apartment locker, scissors, you know, all that fun stuff right in there. Right here is just a container with my garbage can in it and some more shoes. Very unnecessary to bring this many shoes. Want to point that out to everybody. Here's my hair stuff. Hair dryer, hair brush, um, also my makeup bag. I don't really need, a, or I don't wear a lot. I guess I probably need it, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> and I have a curling iron and a straightener. It's a rug for my room. Right here is a bathroom scale and two bathroom rugs. This long white container is filled with all my decorations. It's just a short, flat container. Under here is basically all of my clothes, pajamas, swimsuits. Yeah, this is my hamper. <laughs> and then hiding back here is a suitcase with my bulkier things, so sweatshirts and blazers, dress clothes are all in there. So I basically have everything packed except for my pillows, my Dapper Day dresses, and my traditions dress and a couple blazers just because they can't be folded, they'll get nasty. That's basically everything. Looks like a trash heap, but I hope this helps you get an idea of maybe some things that you should bring. I will point out that I also have a Brita filter right here. Since I have a big vehicle, I just wanted to get it ahead of time and not worry about it. Then I have a little popcorn maker that is Mickey Mouse there too. Like I said, I hope this helps you. If you want more tips on what to bring, what to leave, what to wait and get down there, just let me know. I'll show you what my vehicle looks like and how it can be packed. All this crap can be packed into a car. All right, everybody. So I just got my car filled and I will show you what it looks like from the inside. It is very dusty, living on a gravel road. All right, so the only blank spot right here will be filled the morning of. It just has liquids and I don't want it to freeze overnight. The joys of living in Minnesota. <laughs> so as you can see, it fits a lot better this time than last time. The only thing that I don't have like I did last time, bath towels and my memory foam topper, but then again, I did put in some stuff I didn't have last time, like a couple lamps in tiny boxes, and then another bigger storage shelf. I also don't have my pull-up chair like I did last time. So there is a few things that I didn't bring that I'm waiting to get down there. It all fits a lot better. I brought a lot less clothes. I will show you what it looks like in the middle seat. All right. So this is where I will be sitting for 22 hours plus. So what I did this time was I used the space under here for my books and Sudoku and a word find and then some journals. And then over here I have some shoes. Um, I also have shoes in the back of this one too. So I really am utilizing all the space that I can in order to have a more comfortable ride. What's gonna go here? Me and my parents' overnight bag, so just a couple carry-ons. So that'll all fit in this seat, and then Stitch will also be there enjoying the ride as well. So bring it up to the front. Oh no. Okay, well. All right. So, and it cracked, and I just bought it. Oh well. So this is my total money. 
And I just wanted the penny showing on top, just in case anybody wants to steal change out of my car. I don't know. Anyway, on the bottom I have all my quarters and cash. I'm all set. And this is what it looks like from the inside. I checked to make sure none of the stuff would fly forward, and I think I'm good. I guess we will find out when the time comes. Yeah, so this is my vehicle. Today is Wednesday, and we are leaving on Friday. And it's Wednesday afternoon. Everything is ready to go, and I will take you along on my journey then. All right, farewell for now. Bye.